hello my lovelies and welcome back to a day in my life and today me and my mom are just going to chill because it's the last day i mean it's the tomorrow i'm working and then on monday my dad is coming so it's the last day we can chill together so we're just gonna chill and have a lovely day so i'll take you guys along with me but you know if you're waiting for something exciting to happen, nothing exciting will happen in this vlog. It's a simple day in my So today it's the next day, it's Sunday today and we're gonna go off to the shop and buy some Coke Zero for me because I have none and I have to start work in a bit and I woke up with a horrible pain in my back and I also have pain on my arms like everywhere and I have a really bad allergy and obviously I'm sleep deprived oh so yeah and we bought this playpen for Maya So we bought this playpen for her because she was going to like she was getting in herself into little edges around the house and it could be like it could end up very dangerous for her she could have hurt herself or something but now what she does is she just stays in one place and she doesn't move around so much in this playpen and we thought that she would move around but she doesn't and it's quite huge for the apartment like it's very big it's like 200 by 180 so we're going to give it away and buy a smaller one but this is very convenient because like we can leave her there and do things around the house or whereas before i couldn't leave her because she could have her hurt herself in like these little like places edges over here she could have gotten her leg stuck and there's also like a hole over here and there was a table this table was over here and she could she could roll over and hit her leg or head on the table as well so the playpen is pretty convenient she's still not sitting down but like she sits down but she doesn't sit herself down like from the from the floor from laying on the floor to sitting down she can't do that but um she said she does if you sit her down she does sit um so you don't and i don't need to support her head anymore so that's good <laughs> and yeah that's good also i was thinking about doing because last time i did like a little photo shoot by myself i was the cameraman i just like put the phone on the tripod and like put makeup on did my hair and i did some photos with maya which i will insert over here and i'm thinking about doing that again today but i don't know if i have time or not because my dad is coming tomorrow and he just like he's kind of annoying so he's kind of like controlling and stuff he doesn't like when i take photos or do things so i don't know also i've been using the i'm really bad energy the olaplex this is my second time yesterday was my second time and i feel like my hair is getting like it's getting a lot healthier and longer and if it looks dry and weird but that's just my hair texture so yeah let's get started with the day so i'm currently walking towards the shop and me and my mom parted ways because she wanted to go with the shaders and i told her that like there's no way like it's a parallel street but then there's no way to get up on this street with a stroller she's stubborn and she decided to still go so i told her she could take the stroller and go there and yeah basically i'm just walking and i'm really like tired for some reason i have a lot of pain like everywhere i woke up in pain like muscle pain and i have no idea why maybe the bed is like bad or something i don't know 
so now my stomach hurts god i don't know what's wrong with me today so yeah it's like freaking hot here i'm sweating i have my sunscreen on and yeah i don't know which crisps i should choose well chips i think i'll go with these ones on top this, this is like a spanish brand this is doritos and then we have cheetos but it's Spanish, so I will go with the one on top. And I decided to get these chips, and I got coffee and Coke Zero. And these are called jumpers, and I think they're from the UK, but I'm not sure. Maybe they're Spanish as well. I'm not sure. It's sort of like a dessert, and it's a carrot cake, it's sort of like a yogurt slash dessert. And we have tiramisu. I don't know what's okay so i got back from the grocery shop and i'm quickly gonna do my makeup i have like one hour or two i'm gonna get ready have one hour free time and i'm gonna do my makeup with her and i'm gonna do the photo shoot with my baby daughter maya because my dad's gonna come here and he's like really against all of this like he i'm very sensitive and very yeah i'm very ultra sensitive and he's gonna be like why are you doing this like stop i don't want you doing this and then i'll have to stop because otherwise he'll get in a fight you know not in like an abusive fight but just like in a conflict like shouting or saying stuff that he doesn't want to me to do a photo shoot he doesn't like me taking photos with my daughter so basically i'm gonna do it without because he's gonna stay here with us for 20 days and she's gonna grow you know how babies they grow really quickly and i want to capture this moment with her so yeah let's get ready together i'm just using milk and cleanser this is a milky cleanser i love milky cleanser because they don't disrupt the skin and they you don't lose with other like foaming cleansers i feel like they're a little bit too harsh on my skin so i'm gonna brush my teeth i'm gonna put whitening strips on my teeth and i'll get back to you when i'm doing my makeup okay so i'm going to be using a foundation and on just my dry skin because i feel like if i apply moisturizer sometimes the foundation like doesn't sit nicely it, it does like little like it looks like i have dead skin on my on my face because it has like a so i'm just going to apply this all over my face and i'll come back to you so now my skin has evened out with the foundation i'm going to apply concealer under my eyes and bronzer and then powder so i'll show you Okay, so this is the concealer and it's from Becca and I just like this orangey color because it really helps to get like to cover the dark under eyes and it's like pretty thick as well. So I'm just gonna continue doing this and then I'll get back to you. So this is another concealer that I'll be using and it's from Sephora and this is more like a highlighting concealer just to brighten the area. But it's not a cover up. So this sponge is damp and washed. I actually prefer to use my fingers, but sometimes it gets like annoying because I'm a little bit aggressive <laughs> on my face. And then I prefer the sponge. But the problem with the sponge is like if you don't clean it well, it gets like bacteria in there. So you have to make sure it's very clean. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of spots. So I'm just going through blend everything sometimes the foundation like sits so weirdly on the creases of my nose and now my skin well this looks really uneven over here okay so now it looks pretty even and this is very superficial but it's kind of like a memory for my daughter and me so i can look back i love to look back on photos so i'm doing the same for her on my baby photos okay so now we're going to apply powder now actually blush and then powder and i'll show you the process this is the blush that i'll be using and it's a tint and i love it it's like the best thing i've tried the milk makeup jelly one but i didn't like it and i probably should change this i had this for years like for three years and i feel 
like yeah i should like change it and throw it away and that's just like lightens the face up i don't know it makes it more healthy and lightens the look up so much okay so i have the blush and now i'm gonna apply the bronzer the power setting powder i actually hate how setting powders look in real life but on camera it always looks good but like in real life it looks cake you yeah. know it's just you can see that you yeah. have foundation but as you can see on camera your eyes look flawless if you use a setting powder i mean your eyes your skin looks flawless did i say eyes okay so now i'm going to set my face actually no wait before i set my face i need to apply bronzer and then i'll set my face makeup always looks so uneven i'm just really bad applying makeup this is by benefit and it's the light one because i'm pretty pasty i never sun breathe so and also i'm gonna apply like so wherever the sun would naturally hit my face and then i'm gonna apply another bronzer and then i'll do my eye makeup and then i'm finished this is the bronzer by chanel the beige and it's really nice it's like makes you it's a uh, like makes you it's really healthy but it's not good for sculpting the face it's just good for like natural bronzy look and they have like the cream bronzer but it's been like out of stock for the longest time but i really want to buy it as well and i like to apply bronzer here and actually i like to apply blush over here as well but i forgot and so that's how my face looks and now i'm gonna apply the next setting spray okay so i'm just gonna do like a really simple my makeup like a two second one <laughs> i don't like to like complicate my makeup so these brushes are not clean i like to apply white over here on the waterline and because it like brightens the eye look at the difference it makes the eyes look healthier and nicer also i apply white over here because it lifts the eyebrow and i go like so do you see the difference okay so i'm gonna do the same to the other eye white that was like i feel like my eyes are a different shape white over here over here i don't know this eye is like prettier than this eye white over here and now i will apply a brow this i like really neutral makeup so like this brown over here this brown i'm using this one and just blend it in like that i'm really bad at makeup as you can tell i was actually at one point like really obsessed and good at it but then i became bad i forgot to apply white this palette i had for like years like five years okay this is horrible okay whatever now i'm going to use like a really dark i'm going to use a really dark brown this one i think it's called espresso and i'm gonna do the waterline and over here like i'm going to create a v shape and i'm gonna do not what yeah like eyeline not waterline eyeline part wow well, so and I'm going to apply it down as well. It gives more like a depth in the eye. It opens it up. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the floor. Now I will apply the spray and I'm going to wait for it to dry and apply these lashes. I'm going to cut them and apply them to the other part of my eyes. 2000 years later. Oh my god, the light here is making my nose huge. Yeah, so now the light is better and you can see the makeup look. This is the dress and it's like this. And yeah, this was my makeup look for the shoot, my hair, the dress I wore. And it kind of, the, the, like, the mascara smudged and now my lash is coming off because I reused, these are like old lashes that I reused and i just cut them but you know if you have fresh half uh, eyelashes they'll look so much better and i like the way they make the eye like kind of like cat eye it's quite sexy and so yeah i will show you the pictures over here and i will wrap this video up and i'll see you on my next vlog
Bye-bye.